They'll be calling you a radical. Kevin Blanche back to Fukushima. We have a lot of real disturbing news coming out of Fukushima as the, this is what I've termed them. This is what I've called the so-called elitist. The so Forget that Illuminati bullshit. This is a whole new club on a whole new level. You know, this, it's similar to the old Masons. You know, they would invite you in with oil, but Masons, remember their motto was justice and integrity. You know, moderation. Well, these guys' motto is nuclear plutonium mass murder kill you because we are elitists, we are superior. Michael Moore has joined the club. That piece of shit. You've watched his, when he did, Roger and me was brilliant. When he did Fahrenheit 9 11, was right. you've watched him progress as he's joined the club with his money. I met him a few years ago and I shook his hand and I was really taken back at his physical presence. He's like a bowl of jello. I was like, and I mean, it really disturbed me. And then I had a conversation with him. He's not, he, had, he had a good team. He was smart about some things, but when he made his movie about the bank, it exposed him and his team's purely ignorance to economics. Now, speaking of economics, I'm going to get back to doing some more of my economics and my finance videos, as you guys know, that I was doing before I got cancer. I want to talk about this, and this is what I've tended to, and I call our small group, our small group, I call it the Cassandras, the post-ignorance, our small army. This is a class war. Absolutely, positively, that we need a class war, but we don't need it fought with guns. I mean, that's the problem. There's an old saying out west, you're outgunned. And, you know, Bill Hicks has been provocating, provocating, worse than the CIA, and he's, you know, that's what these people do. Alex Jones' real name is Bill Hicks. You know, he works, that's what they do. They still, this is AstroTurf. The AstroTurf worked on all this. Get again by go, get again by go, get again by go. As I told you, and I'll tag a bunch of these videos, I, in August of 2011, right before I got sick, the market's crashed, and everybody's unloading again on the advice of Glenn Beck, on the advice of everybody. I made bets with everybody. I'm like, sell your gold, sell your gold at 1900 In June, I was saying, sell your silver 47, buy the triple leverage, the ETF triple leverage on the way down. Now, it's, what, 18 now, so do the math, triple leverage on that. That's a eight-bagger, a nine-bagger. Nine, for every thousand, you got 9,000. For gold, same thing. Not as dramatic for every thousand, few thousand, but I told you by Tesla at $12, told you to sell it at 185 Do the math on that one. So your $12,000 worth 185000 very shortly. Very quick. I told you by the Apple derivative at $30, it ended up being worth 6000 My Cassandra finance advice has been, been impeccable. And they're like, how come you're not filthy sinking rich? Because I got leukemia. That's my point. That's my point. Cassandra, Cassandra. Because there's really one thing that trumps all your money. There's only one thing we could beat this club because... Sanjay Gupta, come from these meager beings, he's a neurosurgeon, welcome in, when they get to the club, Barack Obama, welcome in, you know, Michael Moore, welcome in, when they get to the club, they're like, oh, and something comes over them, you know, it's hard to explain, I've been, I've been a millionaire many times over and broke up my, I mean, now I live completely poverty, but, and there's a lot of, what it does mentally, unless you're strong integrity-wise, and that's what we've always taken, the Alexander Hamiltons, the Abraham Lincolns, the John Kennedys. I have hope for Bobby Kennedy. Oh, I have so much hope for Bobby Kennedy and Caroline Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy, he took on Pandora's. Michael Moore stood right there and told Pandora's promise, oh, great movie you made, blah, 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 because he's ignorant. And as his body's getting all soft and blood, Cassandra, as that is all we have. I mean, she proved that the one thing, that's, that's the one, she's my favorite character in that as... Not only she was cursed with knowing, seeing the future, not no one believing in her, but all her heirs in time, you know. Cassandra, Cassandra, Cassandra. I my on this has been incredible. We need a break. We need someone with some integrity. We need a John Kennedy. We need an Abraham Lincoln. We need and we need a Rachel Carson. We need an Alexander Hamilton. We need a Cassandra. We need somebody to stand. I I've, I've been. Cassandra like on this thing but we need our little club to fight now how did she fight power with her sexuality the one thing that only can my grandma used to say the only thing your body is a temple and the only thing you really have is your body it's so true your body and spirit and mind Michael Moore doesn't get that because they go in symphony with each other as the body's stronger as I've become stronger through this cancer it I should have died two months to live but my body was strong and what did not kill me did make me stronger it made me more intense. That's what she did. She told him no. 
I won't give you my sexuality. I won't give you, I won't sleep with you. I won't because really that's what women lack in our society. Women are willing to give their sexuality away in a small trade-off for what? Some fake styrofoam house, whatever she didn't. She had, we need women like that. We need women who can show their spirits in a strong, intense way against these people. We have, you think about it. We've always had somebody in popular culture jump up and get on our side, some of the so-called beautiful people. Not anymore. This is not only hijacked Hollywood, it's hijacked film. I mean, let's go to the confist, but right here, that fuckhead Redford. I mean, he used to be on our side in the 70s. He's not now. He made all kinds of beliefs. As I say right here all the time, this smog-infested shithole he calls a fucking film festival. Put this in your fucking film festival, Redford. He's a phony, creepy fucker. They're fucking club. They invite them into the club because they have money. It's the same philosophy, but except for the Mason's philosophy was grounded on integrity and social justice. In some, I mean, yeah, they like their power. They were about to protect their power, but they believed in justice. These people are the opposite. I call them Fuktoniums, Punktoniums. They're punks. Be you punks. Punks, punks, punks. They believe in mass murder and killing you. They believe that fucking this place is theirs and fuck the rest. Now, you can't fight them with a gun. The gold, I made. How many bets did I make with all these people out here on gold? And you guys know it. You guys watch it. People tag all kinds. There was a few of us going back and forth, Max Kaiser's group and some guys, that bet me $100,000. And they're like, well, and I had the money when I put, you know, I had the money then. I says, okay, you got to fucking bet. That gold would hit 3,000 before it hit 1,200. It went under 1,200 yesterday. I expect checks. Speaking of that, I'm gonna. I had my test yesterday. I plateaued, but that's a good sign. I'm not declining. I'm slow. I mean, this is a slow, long fight I'm in, you know. But Thomas Ackerman and the artist is speaking of investment. We made these. There's not very many of them. We did these together. Now we have three of them. She represents all previous human rights activists, everybody who really did right. That's Rachel Carson. And we s screened at Post Ignorance with soup, tomato soup. The tomato soup is significant. First Megan Rice, that, she represents everybody that's been falsely incarcerated by this fucking group of fucking Fuktoniums punks. The social inequality. We need... That's myself. Cassandra trying to fight the cancer victims represents everybody that's been killed by these evil fuckers via cancer, via all kinds of fucking Paul, all these people, but he and I did them together. His last piece just sold just recently for 15000 the, the investor paid, I think, 3000 for it. You know, we'll set a price on them. I'm thinking in the $1,200 range at least. There's not a lot of them. They're important. They're magnificent. He and I did them together. I need to raise money for this post ignorance project. I've got to get a different vehicle. I've got to get a vehicle I can get paint on, the, an American made vehicle, then I get the post ignorance project painted on. My computer crashed. I've got to get a new computer and set up shop here. I need funding. I, I mean, I absolutely need funding. And, you know, in a really strong, good way. And, you know, there's people out there, but, you know, we're just not going to ask for 100 here, 20 here, they're like Greenpeace and just fuck off your money. No, this is. These stand alone worth well more than $1,200, way more, and there's not very many of them. So investment, return on investment, as my advice has been so impeccable to you guys as far as investment. You know, now you think about it, all these other people on the other side. Buy gold, buy gold, sell your Dow. I'm screaming, double down on the Dow when the Dow was 6,500. I'm screaming, grab it down when it's freaking, you know, 9,500. That's a big deal. So, okay, so you unload your 401k when he told you Glenn Beck and all these people are screaming, going crazy in 09 for 100,000. Now you're 100,000, you bought all gold. You went all gold, so your 100,000 were 70,000. Okay, the people that stayed in or and or doubled down, or listen to my advice, they got six, 700,000 for their 100,000. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. So you keep listening to these guys around because I never say, well, does that pertain to your life and your health? Everything. I wrote a check for $680,000 to get into that hospital, which their doctors are magnificent. Their administrators tried to kick me out yesterday. Their administrators are pieces of fucking shit just like the rest. The medical industry is a fucking joke. It's a fucking disaster. But they have a small group of doctors who say, and nurses that saved my life. Sure wasn't the administrators of that fucking hospital because they're evil pieces of shit. And I'm going to sue those fuckers because they almost fucking killed me in the inception as you people watching them. Hell, they're, they're scum. But the few doctors, Dr. Hansen saved my life. Dr. Vincent Hansen, the old beautiful, beautiful fucking spiritual Christian man that he is, he's an incredible, he saved my life. He stepped in and overrode them all. 
Pinball Head Peterson and my militancy. I fought, I fought, I used to, I mean, I didn't listen to what they told me. Fuck that. I'm not obey, consume, obey, consume, consume, obey. Not me. Not me. I don't fucking play that game. On Christmas, I make homemade gifts. Yeah, I, I you know, I buy stuff that has already been made. I buy American made by stuff. I buy, I support people that pay their labor fairly. I'm not, I don't exploit people with here cash, whatever. I don't play that game. I never have even my flash business or whatnot. Michael Moore has jumped ship in this elite group. These, this group, this is, we need a, we have to have a class war, but we need a Trojan horse. We need a Trojan horse. And I need to get in that Trojan horse. And we need to get in that Trojan horse and we need to come out swinging. And we need to get these fuckers and take these fuckers apart because Fukushima is ongoing. That's the thing that people do not understand. Somehow they think Fukushima's not, fuck, they haven't fixed anything of Fukushima. Fultonium's happening. Three full Cormel has maybe four. China syndrome from hell. It's fucking going on. It's fucking nothing's been done. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse every day. And we had, like you said, we know every single one of you people who stood up and supported these fucking monsters. And I'll tell you what, when this all comes down, when we get somebody with some integrity, finally, finally step forward. Oh, I'm head of the science and technology team at Berkeley. I, I can't do this anymore because I love my kids and I love the ocean. Here's the real data. Kevin Blatch was right the whole time. He just did nothing but tell the fucking truth the time. I'm so fucking sorry. Here it is. We're going to remember every one of you Michael Moore motherfuckers and you fucking pieces of shit, fucking Sanchez Guptas and you fucking, you know, Stones and Bobby Kennedy, Carolina, oh, do we need you. Oh, do we need you, Bobby. We need you now. We need some people to step up that people will listen to with some integrity. You know, we need the girls to step up and be Cassandra. We need you girls to step up and be Cassandra. Stay in tune it.